what up guys so welcome back to another post race reaction probably my most hated post race reaction because what do you know homestead is for toyotas so sorry about that but before i get this video started just want to let you know that like i'm probably going to be yelling too much and if you don't like it Get off this video. I don't want to hear your opinions. I don't want y'all claiming it's hard racing. I don't want to hear none of that. Go ahead, nine-year-olds. Call me out like I care. Go ahead, thinking I'm a nine-year-old child when I'm 15. So anyways, before we get to the actual rage, let's actually start off what happened. So first five laps happened, and then rain came for at least two hours. Many people were mad, like real mad. Mostly fans, because you know NASCAR is just NASCAR. They don't race in the rain, all except for the NASCAR Xfinity Series at the road courses. So, coming into stage one, this is where it begins. This is where unstoppable Toyotas happens. And this is where it never fails. Nothing stopped Denny Hamlin... No matter what, no matter what happens, nothing ever stops him. Then we come to stage two. He sweeps it again. And if that wasn't bad enough, there, there was only like two incidents. Literally, I can't stand Denny Hamlin no more. I can't stand his retarded teammate Kyle Busch. I can't stand, I cannot stand freaking nine-year-olds claiming Kyle, if not Danny, wrecking out drivers and claiming it's hard racing and them not owning up to it, although it didn't happen today. Because I'm aware it did not happen today. Because I'm not stupid if you ask me. And then, after this race, what do you know? This right here decides to press the wall when he was close up there. He knew there was no grip. He knew that. He just decided to let this retard right here steal it away. Chase Elliott, you are not funny. You have been a retard lately and have done nothing to help yourself win a single race. Every time Chase Elliott is up front, he messes up. He literally messes up. That's all he does is mess up every single time. Chase Elliott, if you continue to do that, you might as well have Noah Graxon be in your ride and get back to the night car for at least five years. You continue this, might as well go back to the Xfinity series. Might as well. And Tyler Reddick, well, he's had a good car, but just wasn't that good. And Ryan Blaney, well, Penske's been a failure. So literally, drivers have done nothing to stop Denny, like literally, other incidents that happened. Legano chokes? Are you kidding me? We rarely even see the 22 choke. And he slips up. At least he didn't get that much damage. Not to mention, he was two laps down. He was two laps down. Does nothing. I mean nothing. He didn't even wreck Chase Elliott because he did make contact with him. He probably faked accepting Chase Elliott's apology after what happened at Bristol, what, Lord knows long ago. So yeah, might as well get rid of Miami off the schedule because Harrison Burton won the Xfinity race. Not counting today because that was good for Chase Briscoe winning it because... Harrison Burton is probably going to be in Joe Gibbs Racing, and there's not going to be enough space at all. So yeah, this is why NASCAR is dying. Toyota Racing Development, and all this other BS. 
fan, I mean, not fans, people calling out NASCAR, claiming, oh, it goes around in circles. Then why is that old man Watkins going on the schedule then? Huh? Yeah, exactly. This is why NASCAR is dying. I'm just done. I'm watching Talladega. And nothing stupid better happen. I don't want to see Logano flying on the fence. I don't want to see him nearly dying. The same as Ryan Newman. I don't want Toyotas winning. All I want is... Well, that was close. All I want, other than next week, was one normal Miami race. That's all I wanted. And nope. All we get is Joe Gibbs Racing continuing to wreck Miami. Although two years ago, Logano won the championship. That I was proud about. So anyways, hopefully this yelling makes you laugh. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I don't even have a storage to do the rest of it anyways. So yeah, call me out if you want to.